Today is also the official start of summer and the longest day of the year known as the summer solstice. Now our sun is getting ready for its own kind of increased activity and joining us live with NASA is Karina Alvin. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, uh, today is the summer solstice. So what does that mean, uh, especially for NASA? Yeah, so today, as you mentioned, is the longest day of the year. So here in the northern hemisphere, the tilt of the Earth at the North Pole is facing directly towards the sun at 23 and a half degrees, giving us the longest day of sunlight. Um, while in the southern hemisphere, it's pointed 23.5 degrees away from the sun, giving them the shortest day in the year, a.k.a. the winter solstice. Hmm. So this uh, is a particularly exciting year for our sun. Uh, and we're not just talking about today, the solstice. What else is happening? Yeah, so it's a really exciting year to be part of the heliophysics world. We've, we're celebrating with the Helio Big Year. We've got a annular eclipse in October of this year. And then following in next year, early in April, we've got a total solar eclipse. And then to finish off, we've got the closest approach of Parker Solar Probe around the sun. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that's pretty impressive there. Uh, now, what's happening with the sun's activity? I know NASA monitors the activity on the sun. Is there anything different happening with the sun right now that could affect us here on Earth? Well, there's nothing that will physically affect us here on Earth, but we do have some increased activity. So the sun has an 11 year solar cycle. And during that 11 year cycle, the activity goes from a low point to a higher point. And during those high points, we have what's called solar maximum. And so right now we're approaching solar maximum over the next few years. And during that time, we'll have lots of solar flares and coronal mass ejections, but basically just a lot of eruptions on the sun um, that will give us increased chances of having having some outages with satellites, um, possibly your GPS, or um, some interruptions uh, with any other satellites, possibly. So like if you watch satellite TV, you may some see minor interruptions from that. Um, but the fun thing that usually most people enjoy is that you'll get a chance to see the northern lights. So that that ch those chances increases. So. Oh, that's very cool, especially for folks here in the northwest. We can usually see yeah, those yeah. if it's a nice clear yeah. night. Uh, you mentioned the Parker Solar Probe. Uh, why is it important for NASA scientists to be studying the sun's activity? Yeah, so uh, as we get closer to trying to bring humans back to the moon and eventually to Mars, it's really important to know what our closest star is doing. And so with Parker Solar Probe, it's going to be making its closest approach in December of 2024. And during that, we're going to get all of this data about the sun because unlike doing weather here on Earth, doing weather about the sun is a little more difficult because we can't be on the sun physically to get that data. So with Parker Solar Probe, we'll be able to get that chance of getting that data really close, the closest we've ever been, and get an idea of what the sun is actually doing and finally understand the solar wind and more things about the sun that just make it so interesting to learn about. Yeah, non-scientific question, but I can tell your enthusiasm for this uh, subject here. Uh, just tell me, how cool is it to work for NASA? Oh, it's wonderful. It's great. I absolutely <laughs> love it. It's a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fantastic. We, yeah, it's, it's fun to listen to you talk about it. It gets me excited. I'm like, I want to learn yeah. more about the sun. So where can people go to learn more about the upcoming eclipses and all the research that NASA is doing? Yeah, so you can join us on the go.nasa.gov slash Helio Big Year website. Um, you can also join us on Twitter at NASA Sun um, and even on Facebook. All right, Karina, thank you for joining us on AM Extra. Very interesting stuff. And uh, as I said, we can feel your enthusiasm for NASA. So for more information, go to uh, .nasa, geo.nasa.gov slash Helio Big Ear. I, wow. I just go to NASA first and then, <laughs> and then we'll try put to that, find we'll that, put that other link stuff. On, we'll put that link on yeah. coin.com, make it easy for you. How about that? <laughs>